Let's see. Yep, cool. All right. Oh, right, duh. Good afternoon and evening, everyone. This is Terraquat Tour today. Welcome to Monday. Monday, August 12th, 2024. Day 225. Guacamole Gamer Fart. Kind of know that one because, uh, well, it's Monday. <laughs> well, really, uh, the reason I know that is because the day two, 227 is on Wednesday when Buttercup goes to school. We took care of her meeting today, so we're done. We are done and ready to go for her to start school on Wednesday. Got there, met her teacher. Her teacher's quite chipper. It's not often you see it. Well, then again, if it's, you know, school starting, so there's, I guess there'd be a good reason for her to be chipper. We'll see how that continues on into next, or into the end of the year, if you know what I mean. Let's see how our enthusiasm holds up, you know. Uh, there's not a whole lot else going on. Buttercup and Lilia have spent all of last night and most of today just cleaning Buttercup's room out. Because, like we said, Buttercup and Sweet Pea share a room. So now it needs to be fully usable for both of them instead of get out of my room. Because it's both of yours rooms, okay? You get that now? Awesome. But... It's just good to have that completely cleaned up because it was... You know how kids are. They don't like keeping their rooms clean. So it's good to just get in there and get it all done. But right now, we're just excited to be making dinner soon. Because if... I don't know why. It feels like it's been a while since I've had some uh, Tex-Mex tacos. I know tomorrow is supposed to be Taco Tuesday. But tomorrow, we'll do fish tacos. I just felt like... I, I just saw the ingredients today, honestly, and I was like, you know what? That looks really good, so I'm going to have some crunchy shell tacos. <laughs> Besides, I found those square bottom shells that are the spicy jalapeno that kind of taste like the old... Um, they taste a little bit like the shells for, that they used to have at Taco Bell for the fiery Doritos Locos tacos. Those were the best shells they had for those. But no, they only have one flavor now because cutbacks and being cheap. I don't do Taco Bell anymore anyway. I know how to make their meat here at home. Everything they do at Taco Bell, I've taught myself how to make at home. There's only one thing I'm still struggling to make when, in terms of their ingredients, and that would be their Mexican pizza sauce. Once I get that figured out, we'll never have to worry about going there ever again. It's also really helpful that they sell their fire sauce in jars over at the grocery store. And yes, they have started all for a while now they've been selling their uh, Diablo sauce and now they've got their Verde sauce but when, but the only one I really buy or ones I only buy the Diablo sauce and the fire sauce I'm addicted to fire sauce so I bought myself some fire sauce to put on my tacos tonight the kids will have guacamole because they don't like having tacos without sour cream and guacamole so there you go you get guacamole tonight you're welcome kids but there isn't too, too much to talk about today other than the fact that we did the grocery shopping. We're feeling good. Lily is feeling better. I got her something to cool down. Buttercup is just, she's chuffed as chips right now. Just excited to start school again. I completely understand because this summer was absolutely dismal for her. With a family being unable to do a whole lot this summer, between constantly going to the main city, you know, a hundred miles away, and her um, her great her great grandmother being well, mostly incapacitated, really, she hasn't. And outside of that, it's just been too hot. I haven't seen any kids playing out this summer. It's been too hot for kids to be out. And frankly, it, it's been so hot that. I feel like we're in one of those cities where if the police see your kids playing outside, they're going to try to give you a ticket for child endangerment with just how hot it's been. So I haven't seen kids playing outside. I only see them once in a while late at night, and that's only once in a while. And because of how hot it has been ah, for the past few weeks, other than other than um, Saturday or Friday and Saturday, that just passed. Those are the only two days out of this entire summer vacation that has been below 100 degrees. It has been that bad. 
So yes, Buttercup is very excited to be going back to school to have something to do. Aside from, you know, playing Splatoon. Well, when it comes to playing on the Nintendo Switch, she plays a lot of Splatoon 3. She plays a, some Animal Crossing, but mostly Splatoon 3, Minecraft, and Untitled Goose Game. She loves Untitled Goose Game. She is... She is really mean to poor Billy. <laughs> Poor Billy tries to run away. She steals his glasses. She has found ways to get Billy trapped in areas Billy's not supposed to be. Like the very end of the entire Goose Game map. She does some mean things to that poor boy. And then he honks at him prof uh, profusely. Yonk, yonk. But I wish there was more I could talk about. We're still waiting to figure out whether or not Sweet Pea's going to start going to bed, you know earlier at night and she still doesn't she went to bed a little bit after midnight but um i just barely got lily to try checking out an anime she she's she said that she's kind of you know outgrown anime which is unfortunate because that's one of the things we met with outside of you know animal crossing because again lily and i met in 2009 playing animal crossing city folk we both had a we speak on our on our old Wii. Yes, we did. We had one of those. We played. We met. We eventually hooked up. We were really drunk. We eventually hooked up. We eventually moved in together. That was a 1,600 mile journey back and forth. Well, each way was 1,600 miles. But anyway, did all that. And we also connected through anime. We, a lot of, uh, she was really into Bleach for a while. But the thing is, when her interests die out, they literally, like, every time one of her interests dies out, it it very much, her literal phrase for it is yesterday's toilet paper. So, Bleach is yesterday's toilet paper. Well, last decade, really, because it's, it's been, like, 10 years. Plus, well, it's been over 10 years. And then uh, Kuritsutsuji or, you know, Black Butler, yesterday's toilet paper. That one is officially, um, oh, well, that one's over 10 years because we started that one in 2011 is when we started that one so there's that um what are some of the other ones it really it really started to fade out i think one of the main things that ruined anime for her was one was probably ranma but there's a whole different story for that one don't need to get into it um but one of the huge things in recent years that has turned her away from anime is the overabundance of isekai, which is such a proliferating subgenre, it may as well be its own genre, like official genre, instead of just sci-fi, fantasy, romance, and everything like that. It should pretty much be its own genre, just isekai. She's sick of the reincarnation stuff, and yeah, can I blame her? No, not really. I need to fix that. And that's what's going on with my foot. There we go. Sorry. My uh, my foot trackers kind of slide a little bit, so they kind of mess my feet up a little. Anyway, so she, that's the main thing in recent years that's turned her away from it. So if she watches TV, she is done with The Walking Dead because all the spinoff series are just utter garbage to her. So she's done, she's done with Walking Dead completely. So the only thing she really cares to watch on, on TV is quite literally just the, the Bold and the Beautiful. The soap opera. That's the only thing she really likes watching on TV. The kids, they only watch either Bluey or YouTube. And that means Blippi is on almost 24-7. But when I try to watch anime with her, it is a real struggle. And a big part of it is she's just done. Like, they don't interest her because they don't have anything that interests her anymore. Because when it comes to an anime as an art style, she needs her hot dudes. She, need, she needs her, um, her eye candy. And she, she, she likes her, um, she likes her femboys, you know? And unfortunately, there's not a whole lot of that. I can try looking more. Uh, there, there was one that I think she tried watching. 
but again, it's it's hard to get her into any. Was uh, I think it was Kiss Him Not Me, I think. But um, the one that we tried watching last night, she might get into, but there are too many female characters, you know, too many of those. But um, the utter sadistic violence, she was she uh, seemed to have gotten a little bit of a. Um, For some reason, the the sadistic violence is what interested her in that one. Don't have a good answer for it, but that's what it was. Anyway, do you like this galaxy back here? It is not ours. <laughs> anyway, I don't care. But I'll see if we continue that one or if we just do something else tonight. Maybe we'll play a video game. It'd be awesome if we could do VR chat, but it's still going to have to wait until Sweet Pea's a little more adjusted because even Buttercup's going to have to start her new sleep schedule because... Because I can't let her stay up till 11 o'clock at night anymore. She has to go to bed at 10 because she needs to be up in the mornings. Speaking of, I should start setting our alarms again to make sure that we're up and ready to go. Her... Yeah, we'll, we'll get there. But I am absolutely looking forward to making those tacos. I'd like to get that started ASAP. So as soon as I'm done with this, I can go in and I can edit this. I can't forget to edit. We're on a time crunch because it's 6.05 p.m. right now, which means, sorry, Tessa, I beat your time. I beat yours. I got on before you were almost late last night, but you did it. You did great, Tessa. Anyway, this is Terra Quator on your Monday, August 12th, 2024, day 225. See you all tomorrow on Tuesday. See you around. I am quite positive when I walk over there, I'm falling off the edge. Wish me luck, everyone. Hey, just barely. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, let's get this turned off. See you around, everyone.